Hi, welcome back. I'm Tina. Today I'm going to be planning in my Erin Condren Daily Duo. I'm going to be setting up my September monthly and I will see how far I get. I do need to also set up my dashboard and my notes page for the month as well. But first we're going to start here and see how it goes. All right, I am using Wrong Wrong's PET tape. This is from her fall release and this one is called Rustic Autumn. And let me grab this whole strip here for you so you could see it. If you're not familiar with Wrong Wrong's PET tape, it is a nice matte finish. Everything is kiss cut, which makes it so easy to use because you don't have to cut anything out. And it's pretty long strip here before it actually starts to repeat. So you get like one strip before the repeat and then there's five of those on one roll. All right, I like this color palette. I'm gonna go full on fall for September. And what I wanna do here is I just kinda of wanna trim things out because I like to keep my monthlies very functional and, but at the same time, I like to have them decorated. So I'm gonna start up here in this corner. Now with the PET tape, it is nicely kiss cut, but it does have like a little bit of a clear edge here. So what I like to do is I like to trim that off because I want the um, image to bump directly up against the edge of the page. And if I do that without trimming this first, then I'll be stuck with like the little edges just kind of hanging over and I don't like that. So I'm gonna turn this around so it, they have a better angle here. Always want to make sure that you turn your pages to like your best vantage point. So I'm gonna bring this in here and I wanna to try to sneak in as much of this as I can. Probably gonna to have to cut some of like the leaves that are hanging over onto September here down, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring it over, I think like that. So this kind of like comes around September and then I'm gonna just cut off like these little things here that are kind of dangling over. All right, so that works out well. And I'm just gonna put this like right there. So that way I'm not like wasting that little piece. And then the best thing is to turn to the other side when you have stickers hanging off. That way you can see the edge. And I actually ended up going a little bit over here anyway. It's so much harder to cut if it's just a tiny little bit of overhang as opposed to a much larger overhang. All right, so now that I'm looking at this, this one is kind of hanging down a little bit too close. So I don't really like that. So I'm gonna take this off because it's actually interfering a little bit with the clarity of September. There we go. All right, so now I wanna just kind of continue with this across. I wanna get something that's going to hopefully reach over, but I don't think I'm going to be so lucky with this side because it's not quite making it here. So I like this one. This one kind of fits in nicely. I don't know about you, but I am ready for fall. We do have some warm weather right now actually filming this the last day of August so got some warm weather it's Labor Day weekend Labor Day is like the end of summer even though we still have like warm weather usually through uh, September for the most part I'm in Chicago if you did not know that and it's 
so beautiful here in the fall because we do have like the nice change of weather going on. I don't know if I want to fill that little corner or leave it blank. Hmm. Oh, I could just put like a few of these little things. Oh, this one is cut on the edge. And this actually will probably be perfect. Yeah, that works out. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. So now it's filled in and I'm going to move over to this side and fill in this over here. So I do want to open this up though, because even though I like to work on one side at a time, because it's just like easier for me to see, I obviously want it to be cohesive all the way across and really kind of make sense. And also I don't want to like repeat the same exact things. This one is nice, but it's really big. You know, this actually is a cut piece because this is like where the PET tape started. But that actually would probably work in that corner. So I think I'm going to use that here. like this one here even though this one doesn't have like a cut side I think that this is like a good oh this way works much better Actually like this one however I'm gonna have to like adjust it a little bit because you see how I've got like the green pumpkin and then I don't want the green leaves to be like right next to it so let me put it on here and then I'm gonna probably I don't know I'll see if I leave the green leaves or if I need to trim them down because I will definitely have to put something in between to kind of like break it up a little bit there and I'm wondering that might do it okay well let's see let's see where I get here I don't like that the corn is like it's like I have a repeat of the corn let me see Oh, this one. That's this. That's okay, though. I think that's the that's the good one right here. All right, let's use this one instead. The thing with trimming these little clear pieces off is I end up with all these little strip of clear stickers. <laughs> So I have like a piece of paper on the side so that way I can just like gather them all together. All right, so I'm thinking this is gonna have to come like that. Let's do some piecing together here. It actually works out because I wanted to break up all of the green in there, which I was able to do. Okay, 
looks good. All right, I'm gonna bring over my sticker sheet. Here, let me cover this up. Because, you know what, I'm just gonna cover the whole line because honestly, I think I just want that to be kind of clear. So I don't use my sidebar on my monthly, so I'm gonna put a girl in here. Um, I've got a few different things. So I have stickers from Autumn Charm here, and I could use one of these girls. I don't know if I have a, oh, there's this one. That might be cute. So she's an option. Um, I also have the PET tape from here. Oh, this one's cute too. Oh, I think I like her. And then this one is the PET tape from the Whimsical Seasons, the fall one. And I know I have a girl in here. There's this one. She's cute. And then there's this one. Oh, I think I like her. All right, let's do this. Let me grab this one here. I'm going to grab these three because I'll need a few girls. So I'm grabbing her and I'm gonna grab her. And I'm gonna grab her. Because I think I could put these two on the other pages that I have. And let's see here. There's a hello fall on here. I have like PET tape everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is from the Whimsical uh, Seasons. That's this sticker book here, but this is the PET tape that goes with it. So if you are looking to know like what stickers I'm using, I like this one. This one says happy fall, y'all. So I like that and I'm going to put that just down there and then hello fall. All right. So these, I think I like this on the side here. I think that that would be really cute. She's kind of like wide though. Let's see. Oh, I could put her maybe, I usually like to put them like in the center here. Well, I guess she could kind of overlap. I don't know. Let's see here. Hello, fall. I will have to cut this one or I could sneak it down here. I have some options. Let's go back to that PET tape that I was using. I know that there's some like cool baskets in here and some wreaths. Like this one's really cute. I don't know if there's like a bigger, I think that's it. Yeah, there's smaller and then this is the bigger size. So, all right. So I could put this here. I kind of like this basket. So I'm going to grab this. All right, so now let's take a look here at the month. So this is so satisfying because the month does start on a Sunday um, and then it ends over here on a Monday. So these down here will not be used. So I like to put decoration in the boxes that are not dated. Um, anything that's dated, I leave that alone. I don't decorate that because I like to have that whole space to be very functional. So here I'm thinking this one could go down in the corner here because I think this is cute. I don't need to cover up these little lines because they are pretty light. It's just these uh, lines that separate each day tend to be a little bit darker but I think that this is kind of cute down here. 
So now I could bump this uh, like close. I think that is cute. So it's kind of almost centered. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I took off some of that white out when I picked that sticker back up. Okay. So that's cute. Let's trim this. And then I'm thinking of those larger, uh, like bouquets that I saw. Let's see. I have so much PET tape out here. It's a little crazy. <laughs> um, I'm thinking like, what about these? Because this is a little bit bigger. All right. I think that's cute. And then let me grab this one. And this should fit down here nicely. It's actually perfect. Fit right here. See that? Look at that. Okay, that looks cute. All right, I think I am kind of done with this PET tape, at least for now. So that looks really pretty there. And then I want to grab this fall PET tape and look at this. I'm looking for something to put down here. Oh, what if I just put Hello Fall like right here? Oh, see, look at that. All of that looking, and this is actually the best thing. All right, so now I do want to cover up these lines because otherwise they're going to kind of like cut right through my wording, and I don't like that, so... I'm just going to cover them up completely here. And that'll work. I think I'm going to cut this because I don't know if I want it to go through. I have all kinds of little stickers on all of my scissors here. I need to clean these off. Okay. So I could... That fills that section, and I think that is cute. All right, there we go. Hello, fall. I like it. All right, now, I do not like this girl on the on, in here because it's just, she's not really going to fit, so I'm going to use... Am I going to use her? I don't know. Let's see. Which one do I want to use on this side? Usually I like to put a girl in here. That's kind of what I've been doing. And I could put her in here. That would work. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. She's taller. She will fill the space very nicely. And I'm going to kind of bring her up here. I think. I think that's good. All right, and then I don't think I really want to bring in a bunch of stickers in here, so I'm going to grab one of my Tombow markers and just kind of uh, draw in here a little bit. I have my little palette here, and I think I'm going to use this 942. So I have all of my Tombows in here, and then I like to keep this little card with my Tombow, so it's like a nice little swatch. I use these a lot. Um, I'm in the process of working on a, like a swatch book right now. Uh, let's see, how do I wanna? There we go, I think that's cute. All right, so that's it here for September. It's decorated, it is ready for me to go ahead and put all the plans in here. All right, let's move on over here to my dashboard pages. All right, what I like to put here is lists that I need to do for the month. And I like to categorize them out. So I will create a list here and here, 
this box and then I add another box in over here. So that has worked out really well for me. I like the way that it has been um, for the last couple of months. So I'm going to do the same thing. So what I need here is a box. So I'm going to come over to the whimsical seasons, I think. Actually, I need uh, like a full size box here. And then I do need four heading boxes. So I'm going to grab my little sticker sheet because I want to make sure I collect everything. And I'm going to come over here to the Whimsical Seasons book, I think. I have a lot of boxes here that I could use. Yeah, like right here. This is a pretty good spot. Now I have that green. And I'm going to use this girl in here with this quote. So this is what I'm looking at, trying to like match things up with. And of course, I'm also going to bring in some of these flowers in here as well. So you see how that will all coordinate. And then if I look over here at my autumn charm, these also work really nicely. So I've got that green box. Hmm. I've got these dots, which is, are going to come in handy. Oh, and then I have these. I have a pattern. Oh, I think I'm going to use the boxes from Autumn Charm. All right, so let's grab, and this girl is from Autumn Charm as well. So that actually works out nicely. Okay, so I don't know. Do I want the orange or do I want the green? Let me start with the green. And oh, I think there's another one in here. I want to get the one that has lines. Yeah, this one. I like this one with the lines. And then I need to grab the four boxes. And I don't mind putting in a little pattern. I think that's good. And then like maybe these three here. I'm not sure, I'm gonna use um, some marker to go ahead and trim this out. And I think, let me see my little palette here. I think I'll use, oh, I actually have some options here. I could use this one. I can use any of these because this will like all go. Um, so I need to figure out my colors first before I start laying things down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like planning that out. So I could do like a brown. That might be kind of cool. The darker brown or this is an even darker brown. This is like this last one here. Or if I want to keep it more neutral. I could use a more neutral. Oh, that's this one right here. Or 912 is more on the orange side. I think I'm going to keep it more neutral because then that allows me to use like these right here. I can use like the different colors. as opposed of like having to pick something different as far as like the colors go with the markers and then the stickers. Okay, so I think that that works. Oops, I laid that on there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one over here. And I'm thinking like right there is good. This is the box that I'm going to use for the heading here. So let's put that one there. Oh, but I laid it down crooked. So let me straighten it up. Okay. All right. Now these I can do.
All right, so there are my headings. And what I want to do is I actually want to fill these in. So let's do that. Okay, and this one is going to be us. And this will be this month. This will be parents, my sister-in-law, and my nephew. All right, so those are all filled in. And I'm just going to wipe this out because that's actually not usable it's too close to the heading there okay so i've got that in there and now i need to decide what color um before i do that though because once i do that then i'm stuck with it for the most part unless it's a light color then i can go over it um i want to add in some of this like floral detailing in here i think i want to bring is this one a good, this one will fit up here. So that's cute. I, think I could use this one. This one's actually kind of cute. And of course I cut the page, but it kind of comes with the territory, I feel like. All right, and then, you know what? I'm gonna bring this up there. I like that, that's kind of cute. I like her and want to bring her in here. So this area, I'm just gonna decorate it. And I'm gonna come over here because I don't want these lines like shadowing through on her face. Like, I don't like that. So I'm gonna cover that up under there. That's cute. Okay, now I really like this happy fall, y'all. So let's bring that one right in here. And this has got a dot grid, which is nice because that way I can like use that to lay things down straight. Um, but I want to bring in some of this. Ooh, that actually would be really pretty right here. Okay, let's grab this one. I like that it's got this like almost like framing the way that it's designed. Let's see. That's cute. Now this box up here is going to be framed out, so I have to keep that in mind. So I think, oh, I want to add something here for sure. I also have this one here. So let's, let's use this one because I already have it. Now this I could probably put right here. That's cute. All right, it is looking good. I like it. All right, now I'm back to deciding which of these I wanna use. All right, so I've got these three and here's my little color swatch. 
So I have 942, which is this one, which is that color. That's the lightest of the three that I have here because the other two I think are these down here. 977 is the next lighter one. And the 969, that's too dark. I'm going to omit that one. All right, so those are the options and I am favoring this because I feel like there's already a lot of dark tones in here. So I want to have a like a contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab or I also have my mild liners. Oh, the mild liners. Those might be better. Let me grab those. All right, so here's my mild liners. I don't have these swatched out. I need to swatch these out. Well, I'm definitely not going to use these grays. Here, I have this little card here. So let's swatch it out. So I have a green. It's a lighter green. That's actually pretty. I might use that. Then there's this one here. I don't know. That's a possibility. Let's move the markers so that we could see the color palette. And then there's this one. Ew, that one's kind of neat. I think I kind of like that one. This, I don't know. Let's see. This, oh, that looks too bright, right? Yeah, that's too fluorescent. Let's get rid of that. I don't even know why that's in that bunch. So you have my neutrals. Ooh, and that one's a little dark. All right, so let's think about it. Um, between these three, oh, I don't know. I think I like the light green. I think it's really pretty. I know I have a lot of green in here, but it's darker. I think I'm going to do that. I think that that is a good choice. All right, so I'm grabbing the bold like angular side here as opposed to the other side because there is like this like more of like a tapered point and all I'm going to do is just trim this out so I could use a ruler if I want but I've just been freehanding it And it seems to have been working okay. And I like to go this way. So that's the reason why I keep moving my book. Whoops. All right. So it's not exactly like perfectly straight lines, but I'm okay with that. All right. Let's come over here. And I can actually do those because these are like on top of each other. Oh, and then I have, oh, I'll go this way first. I already. Now, I could go around her. Just to make that kind of interesting. Oh, it's cute. All right, I like it. All right, so that's the one that I used there. All right, and then I do need to put some lines in here. And I really like to use this pen. It's a Pilot G Tech C4. And I'm gonna use this stencil. This is actually a Happy Planner stencil. And it works like perfectly in this box. It does have like a little bit of like white space to the side, but I'm okay with that. And it's a pretty long box. So I generally like to fill it in just because it looks better if it's like just all filled in. And then of course I want it to be nicely centered in here. 
That's the thing about the stencils. If you don't like lay them down and hold them secure, then that's where things end up crooked. And or like you skip. All right, so now this one doesn't go all the way down. So I am going to just move the stencil here and line it up with the lines that I just drew. And then I can continue down here. And that's as far as I'm gonna go. Leave that bottom blank. Okay, that turned out nice. All right, so I like to have the three bullet points here. So I am going to grab those bullet points from Autumn Charm because I remember seeing those in here. There's like some perfect bullet points here. Here we go. There's, I think there's another here. There's this one too. So I'm gonna grab these three. And I'm gonna start with this one here. So I'm just covering up the little shaded gray dots that are already in here. That is perfect. I'm going to need some like checklists for my parents section here. So I, I'm thinking I'm going to grab, let's see. I have this right here. It's a Zig clean color. I don't think I've ever used this one. Let me just grab my little swatch. Yeah, the colors will be different. Like those are different. I'm okay with that being different. And then I think that'll be okay. That It's like all neutral colors in here, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, do I wanna do? Yeah, I'll just do every one. I'm not quite sure how busy this month is. So I think I'll leave it like that because it just looks a little bit nicer, even though I, that one's a little off. It's not completely in a straight line. Sort of works. That looks cute. And then this I will leave blank. Um, I won't put any bullet points there because I tend to not really need them there. All right. So that is really cute. It's perfect. It's super functional. And it's really cute. All right. We're going to come over to this side and get this one done. All right. So this page, I have been dividing it. Um, I've been putting like a wellness check-in here just to write a few things for the month and then here I've been putting bills to pay I know that's kind of like a funny like way to use these pages but it has worked and it's really cute so what I need to do is divide the page I'm gonna use some washi to divide the page okay it doesn't have to be like exact now, is this going to go, or now that I'm looking at it, is it too off? Let's see. So I'm going to add I'm gonna put her in here. And I'm going to bring this in here. No, I think that'll work. I'm not even quite sure how I'm going to decorate this. All right, so I have been doing a really, like, fun type of lettering in here that I saw from one of my friends. Who was it that I saw it from? I think it was Stacy. Yeah, I think she's the one that I saw this and I thought it was so cute. I'm going to put her name up here on the screen and I thought it was really, really cute. So I'm like, I want to do that. So I have been um, using this technique and I really like the way it works. So I'm going to use the same um, mild liner that I used on the other side here. I put down the skinny washi. You can use whatever size you want. And I'm going to write like block letters over here. Now I'm using three lines. So I put that on the like actual line. So there's a little space here. And then I'm going to write here. 
I'm just going to raise that how big I think I did. Yeah. And then you just kind of like use that, but you write over trying to kind of keep in mind, well, you do have to like make the letters look very legible. So like the S for instance can get a little tricky. So I bring that curve in here and up there. Okay, so that says bills and I'm going to take this off. And I'm gonna get rid of this cause that's just gonna like get everywhere. So, cause of course that mild liner, it's not going to like actually stick onto the washi. So whatever washi you use, you wanna be okay that it's just like a washi you're gonna get rid of. It's not something you're actually keeping. All right, and then I'm going to write in here in a script. Bills to pay. I like that, that's so cute. All right, now I'm gonna need four boxes and I'm gonna grab those from Autumn Charm here. Because so I know that there was a lot of boxes and let's see. I'm going to use the little heading ones. That's what I need to use. So let's see there. There's those two and there's those two. I would like them to be different colors or mix them up with the patterns maybe. Let's see. I'll grab this one. And this one. And then that and this one. Okay, perfect. All right, so now this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna just put these down. Now either I decorate and then I add these or I put these down first. What, you know, whatever is going to be like most comfortable. I think I'm gonna do Solid. Let's see. And I am just kind of like putting them down like this just to kind of give them a little bit more of like interest. And this should fit in here perfectly. Yes. Just kind of putting them down like staggered this way. And then I will write in the bills that I need to pay here. So I have uh, like two credit card bills that I need to pay. And then I'm going to put the amount here. And then I'm going to write C-O-N-F number. So that's what I'm going to need to do for the month because these I do have to pay them and then I pay them of course online and then I write the confirmation I write the amount and then I write the confirmation number that I paid it and then these other two are uh, the ComEd and this one will be the gas bill Now these, I will write the amount because I like to know how much it was for each month, but this is actually on an auto pay. So I'm going to just write that in here. Okay, now I have this whole area for the most part, I do need to like leave myself a little bit of room. So kind of figuring out like right here and right here that I wanna decorate it. And um, I want to do, uh, the wellness up here. So I'm going to do the same lettering. It's going to say wellness check-in, but this kind of moves around depending on how I end up decorating things. So I'm thinking that I will bring her in because she's so cute. And I think I'm going to put her right here. I think that that is a really cute spot for her. 
use like this one in the corner because this is kind of cute. Oh, actually, how cute would that be like right here? Oh, I could do it like that. That's cute. Okay. So with that being said, let's cut out this washi the best that I can. Because you'll see once I take the washi off, because it's a dark washi, so it's really creating like a lot of darkness. See, so that is that's like much better. But I still need to like get it off of this pumpkin. So let's see if I could do this, just kind of like eyeballing it here. Ah, that looks so much better. Okay. All right, so that looks cute there. And then I can border this up like I was originally going to do. I think that's pretty. Let's see. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm going to turn it this way because I think that that's a better advantage point for me. And I'm going to take this other side of it, put it right there. And that'll be cute. All right, let's cut it first. Okay, that's really pretty. And then I think what I want to do is, let's see. All right, that is cute, enough deco on there. All right, and then I need to uh, do something over here. You know what, I need to add some flowers at the bottom. I just realized that. I have like the biggest washing mess like right over here, it's really funny. Um, yeah, it's just like all off screen, but like right in the right up here so it should be fun to clean up okay it's like a big like a whole big pretzel of like washi tape all right so let's do something I have to do something down here because otherwise I just have the floral up there and it looks a little bit like off balance I'm trying one trying to find one of these straight edge ones that I could cut in half and then kind of like bring over one side like one corner here and then one corner here i'm thinking this one might be the best one to do that with let's see how that works because i want to bring this like over here this is not washy i should have cut this before i laid it down but let's work up oh, there we go i got it to work all right, and then I could bring this one, the other half, over here. Yep, that works. See, and that's kind of all you need to do is just to tie it in. It's just add like one sticker, you know, just a couple of stickers in the corner. And it just kind of like brings it all together without having to, to like use a whole lot. All right, so now, oh, I wanted to bring in few things from here because I thought that this book would be perfect make things nice and easy and put that there oh I know what I could do here let's bring that kind of down and then there has to be like a candle I thought I saw here we go 
there's a couple of them so let's grab let's just grab both of them because they're kind of cute and I already pulled that one off so let's put that one there all right so now the only thing I need to do here is put in my wellness check-ins so I'm gonna grab my skinny washi again and I want to put I want to have enough to write the word wellness Now the trick with the E is you want to make that on the top there so that way you're not like writing it right in the middle of the washi because then it's going to not look like an E. Oops. Oh, I'm getting dangerously close to the edge here. Oh no. I just snuck it in. <laughs> I could have started a little bit further over. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's done. And it, it looks fine. I mean, it's a little off. It's kind of annoying me, but all right. So wellness. And we're going to put in here. check in there we go all right so here it is the september monthly is all ready for me to go ahead and put all of my plans in here i will add in things like colored uh, mild liners and i'll use maybe colorful dots we'll see what happens for the things so that's how i add in some color in here i don't add any more decorative stickers in the actual plans themselves in the dated pages so i love the way that that looks super pretty ready for fall here i am over onto my monthly dashboard page that i have my lists all set up my categories and then i have my notes page for my wellness check-in for the month and the bills that I need to pay for the month. So I am set to go for September. I'm super excited about this. So just to review, I did use uh, the Autumn Rustic PET tape from Wrong Wrong, as well as her sticker books, Autumn Charm and Whimsical Seasons. And I love the way that they just like all like coordinated together and really came together and looked really pretty. I really like the way these two pages turned out. Uh, super, super functional for me to go ahead and just start filling it in. All right, now I am an affiliate of both Wrong Wrong and of Erin Condren. So if you do decide to purchase anything, greatly appreciate if you use my links. Uh, they are down below in the description for Wrong Wrong. By using my link there, you will save an automatic 10%. So you get a nice little savings which is always nice to be able to save a little bit of money right and if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell by doing those things that really does help me out here on youtube it shows youtube that you are enjoying my content and therefore they will go ahead and uh, suggest it to other people that might enjoy it as well drop me a comment down below are you ready for september oh my gosh i can't believe Oh, September. I feel like September is kind of the calm before the storm, right? It's like before all the craziness with the holidays really starts hitting us. So I am excited about September. I'm going to enjoy it and we will see what happens uh, moving forward, right? We're all going to be busy. It's we're heading towards the end of the year. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you watch this video all the way through till the end, leave me a, a candle emoji. I think there's a candle emoji. Hmm. There may not be. If there is no candle emoji, leave me a thumbs up. I'm not going to check it right now. Um, I usually try to check it just so that way I'm not telling you guys something and you're looking for it and you can't find it. So if you can't find the candle, leave me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye.